This is Cooking with Kelly. You know, everyone knows I love to cook and I love reminiscing about my grandma. I think about her all the time and I, one of my favorite things when I was a kid she used to make was uh, enchiladas. And these aren't your average enchiladas. Um, these are New Mexican chili. Like I always, you know, with my pozole, it's so much with that. So this, I get this, you can get these in Arizona and New Mexico, but for whatever reason, they don't sell them in California because the Mexicans are different here than they are in, in, you know, New Mexico or we eat differently. You know, there's all different kinds of regions. And so my region is New Mexican style cooking. Now, you know how Italians have their red sauce and, you know, their gravy. Well, we Mexicans have our sauces. And so this is my favorite sauce. You can't get this anywhere. Like, you know how you get that canned crap in the grocery store when you make that like basic, like tomato-y gross. Well, no, this is red chilies from the vine, dried, soaked, pureed, and it is the best sauce. That's the hot or stuff. Or we call it gravy. Is it always hot or can you get a less? They have mild too. They have okay. mild. But I like everything spicy. And Rick doesn't. So he's going to have to get a little bit of, uh, I can handle of, 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 of spice yeah. to his stuff. So anyways, I'm going to teach you my version. Kind of close to my grandma's. Um, when I was looking at this, it was funny because it has directions on here. So, and it's exactly the directions that my grandma made. Like when I was, I was shocked to find out. So if you guys ever have a hard time like remembering this, it's right here on the back of the, <laughs> on the back. Okay. Um, but I make it a little bit different with a twist than on this. So my grandmother um, used to fry her tortillas before making this. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it tastes any different. I don't really want to eat more fried food than I have to. So um, I, and then she made it with raw onions. She would get raw onions and then she would get her cheese and she'd always make us grandkids have to you know, uh, shred it with a with a block because that was like the cheaper way of doing things. So I get this, and then I'm just gonna mix it. Oh, I don't have a. I like sauteing it because when I remember as a kid, it was always so raw, and um, I I just didn't like it like that. I like it. I like my onions cooked a little bit. Um, in there, I don't like them raw, like where they're crunchy and. So I like a lot of cheese. So, you know, just eyeball it. So the twist that my grandma never sauteed her onions and uh, always fried her, her tortillas, which I don't find it necessary, like I said. So I love pork. I love pork. I love beef. I love all kinds of stuff. So what I did was, and I should have gotten a bigger pork roast um what happened was I was gonna make I was making ribs and then I'm like well then I put that sriracha from Trader Joe's I'm getting on a tangent here but let me just show you real quick <laughs> you put ribs in the mm -hmm. crock pot like this wait look at this you just slow cook them and up. I slow cook them I mean, they fall apart and it puts that sriracha stuff, the sriracha barbecue from Trader Joe's. I'm not kidding. Yeah, look at this. Look. Pulling right off the bone, look. Yeah. But that's not for the enchiladas. It's not, but I just wanted to show you guys a, a little. I was gonna make the meat. I'm gonna make you taste it right now, so tell me what you think. Let me know. Oh, babe. Isn't that oh good? Oh my God, that's so good. It takes two seconds. That is so good. You just do a dry rub marinade on the ribs the night before, let it sit overnight, and you put a bottle of sriracha to your ribs. I mean, fantastic. So that's a bonus cooking with Kelly within the cooking It's an easy Kelly. one. It's an easy one, and it presses, it really impresses 
Well, so I'm gonna stick the same thing in here again. I'm gonna get the pork shoulder. I love pork shoulder because, and I love it on a bone. You know, it's like you always have to get a bigger one and I cut a lot of the, it, it's kind of fatty, so I cut a lot of the fat off. So I'm just gonna shred this to a, um, a sh I'm gonna shred it all, but look at, I kind of pulled out, look at that. I put garlic and onion and I let it cook all day long. And I like this little all clad thing, it's so cool. It has all kinds of, you can do, make it's a rice cooker, it's a brown saute, cooks like really fast, grains. It is the neatest crock pot. So you can see I like all clad. I like that big all clad one there do too. Do we need to pause while we shred the meat? So we're gonna shred the meat and then I'm gonna show you what's next. Okay. So I shredded my uh, pork and I think it was like maybe I don't remember how many pounds it was, so you just eyeball it. Just cook it because you can use it for carnitas, for tacos, you can use it in eggs. So it's always good to always have way more pork, pork shoulder than not because you can make it in a variety of other stuff. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put olive oil. I usually like, um, I love olive oil, but I also like avocado oil. I just don't have any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this kind of hot and I'm going to throw some garlic, chopped up garlic in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like a lot of garlic. I don't know. I feel like it's so good for you and anti-inflammatory and all that stuff. Okay. So I am going to do, you can either use flour or you can use cornstarch. So I'm going to do four tablespoons. I sure already have this done for you guys like they do in the cooking channels, but you know what? I don't I don't prep, I do it old On school. I do it I do it old school. You can always go over a little bit more. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute it like this. And I'm gonna make a roux. Oh, sorry. Oh shit. Add a little bit more olive oil. And I'm not going to do it too hot. You never want to like over fry uh, olive oil. Like it's not, you can't really have it cooking at that high of a temperature because it's got carcinogens otherwise. It's not like a hot, you, can't, you have to, when it gets to a certain point, that olive oil anymore. So I mean, it's more like a carcinogen. That's what they say. I don't know. But, so I always wear black because this stuff stains, okay? Mm -hmm. It stains. So I got that toasted. I pour this in here. Then I'm gonna do a cup of this water, because 12 ounces, which this is. And I'm gonna pour it in like this. I'm gonna add salt, oregano, and I'm going to let this cook. Um, so salt and pepper, I mix that together. Add some oregano. And I'm going to cover this and I'm gonna let it, I don't even have to cover it. I'm gonna let it cook for 30 minutes. Hi y'all, welcome back. Okay, so I like my enchilada sauce a little bit thicker than this okay so i mean see how it's looks like good soup. looks like soup yeah but i just wanted a little tiny little bit thicker um this is a little too runny for me some people like it like that i just like it a little how bit. would you make it thicker what i did was i got some cornstarch and water and i whisked it in like this and i'm just gonna add just a little bit of cornstarch that's it just a tiny little tad. Then I'm going to fold in my meat. Let it get hot and warm. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna teach you guys. Just, yeah, maybe let it cook for five minutes or so.
You can see I like all clay. I love all clay lasts forever. I still have my all clad dishes I got from my first marriage in 2001. Huh. Well, you got some new stuff too, don't you? Oh, of course. <laughs> that's how long it lasts. Three years. You buy good, it stays good. Welcome back to Cooking with Kelly. <laughs> just kidding. I think you're not. No, just kidding. Now, this is the exciting part, okay? This is where the magic happens. So, this is exactly what I wanted right here, this kind of consistency, just like this. So, what you want to do always, so you, nothing sticks, you always want to put your sauce, just like lasagna. This is kind of like a Mexican lasagna, basically. That's exactly what it is. Now, in mo most Mexican cultures, they get tortillas, they fry them, and they roll them with cheese, and then they... We don't do that in New Mexico. We don't do that. Not that I'm from New Mexico, but this is how it goes. So you pour it down like this. A lot of people fry them. Like I said, I don't think it's necessary. And I love these right here. They're the La Tortoria Tortilla Factory Tortilla. I'm sorry, I've been drinking a little bit today. La Tortilla Factory. And they're soft and they're flexible. I just like them. I don't know. They're, they're my fave. So... And I pour a little bit of my sauce with my meat. Now, you don't have to do it with meat. You, you, you can just do it plain. You can just do, you know, enchiladas and cheese. Or you can put chicken in there. Oh, you can put all kinds of goodies. So I mix my garlic and my onion. And I'm just, I wash my hands, so I want to just do it like this. I'm just going to sprinkle it. that I like a lot of cheese so you're layering it like lasagna exactly hence why I said it's a Mexican lasagna and now I get it <laughs> okay hmm. look at that hmm. didn't come with that maybe I need two packages so you get my drift. You can even do two kinds. You can do this kind, cheese kind, and then make it in smaller, in a smaller uh, pan, like in an eight by eight. This I have enough. Okay. So I only have a few more. I should have bought two packages. Look at this. Thank you, my darling. I am. Yeah. I am. <laughs> That might just be it right here. That's how we'll do it. We'll just end it like this. Oh, there you go. But I love this sauce so much. I want a little bit more. <clears throat> more sauce, the better. Put that a little bit. But you can keep layering it. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm making this so messy right now. I'm going to go like this. I'm making it really sloppy right now, but you guys can you know you can just, it's like a lasagna exactly. So it's such beautiful bowls, and I use a plastic one. A little bit more cheese because I'm cheesy. And I'm gonna bake it for 20 minutes. I put a little bit of red sauce because I like a little. I'm a little overboard on it because I don't know. I like it soupy, but a lot of people don't. So if you don't like it soupy, you like more to taste more of the corn tortilla in it, then just use less. So I'm gonna bake this for 20 minutes, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like at the end. What does that say? Bitch, I am the secret ingredient. Oh, yeah, you are. Bam! <laughs> okay. What you got, girl? Our oven sucks. It needs to be clean. Oh, yeah. How embarrassing. And it's slow. It's slow. 
Well, that was um, good. I like it a little bit of um, more done than this. I, I, that's my preference. I like it kind of burn around the edges. Is that a premature a, a vacuum? For me, that's actually done. It's like cut into it. I, however, All kinds of utensils. Uh, I should, this is a salad thing, but or to put them. Um. See, I I did make it a little runny. This isn't normal, but I like it like that because it reminds me of a stew. That is a big. Hey, I want you to taste my my enchilada sauce real quick. I'm gonna cook it a little bit more, and I made it soupy, but I like it like that. That's it, my preference, and I told everybody how to make it less soupy. Yeah. If you want it, so okay. some people have different preferences. So we're gonna we're gonna put this back in the oven for a little bit. I am, but I want to see. Um, go over here real quick. Go over here right away. We're gonna get Rebecca it. in the shot. I want to see what Rebecca thinks. Okay. Ooh, it looks so and you know good. she's skinny right now. Look at her. Skinny, skinny. She's always skinny, skinny. It's very okay, hot. I, Be careful. It's very hot. Okay. I might have COVID. This is. An, <laughs> this is. I'm yeah. I don't. Mm, that's so good. Can you eat spicy stuff? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's a... It's Did good, get some huh? thumbs up? Thumbs up. Nice. It's awesome. I know you want to double dip right now. I know, I totally want to know. I saw that. It was like, uh, uh. I'm like going in for it. Yeah, you're like, uh, okay. I so kind of want help. You like it? Yeah. Okay, really I good. like it a little bit more toasty and then you let it sit. So how long are you going to put it in for? For me, I want to put it in for maybe like another 10 more minutes. My oven sucks, so. Okay, 10 more minutes. Yeah. All right. Okay, the mitts are on. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Here we go. This is how I like it. This is how I like it. Like this. Okay, now I'm gonna let it sit there and it's gonna be really, really good. It's gonna dry up and be a little bit thicker, so, cause that's how I like it. But, you know, you can do it, just always trial and error, that's how you learn. So. Start to finish, what, about an hour and a half? Oh, I would say a good two hours. Two hours? Yeah. Okay. Like I said, I like a little soupy, but I, this is perfect for me. So okay. um, I think I did a a great job. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to plate this, and I, you know what I love that I forgot to make white rice. Mm. White rice with this, a side of white rice. That's yeah. how we eat it, and it soaks up all the the rice. I don't know why I didn't do that. I love rice. White rice with this is like so fantastic. And then in the morning, see, I like it a little bit more cooked. Our oven seriously sucks. <laughs> I mean, we're not in a professional oven, but in the morning, you heat this up again and you put a cracked egg over easy. Mmm, delicioso. And what we have here. Yeah. Kelly's enchiladas. And I always like, Rick doesn't like sour cream, but I like a little, Ooh. like sour cream. I'm going, I like it with a fork, but a knife. Improvising. Mmm. Mmm. I could have cooked it a little longer in the oven. It says 20 minutes on the thing. It says 20, but I like it. My oven sucks, like I said. So I should cook it for another 15 more minutes, I think. Mmm. I want to have you give a taste. Tell me what you think. What do you think, Mr. Cameraman? Yes? Delicious. Oh, good. Delicious. That's so good. You guys will love this recipe. Delicious. So. Thanks, baby. Thank you.